Hello, it's Jason Payne of Colt Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the community of Meyer Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas, just off 46, about 10 minutes from HEB and everything you want to do. Anyways, uh, a longtime viewer of mine saw the video I did two days ago about a different Perry home that was completed. They dropped the price to 550 and uh, it kind of triggered him. was like, maybe I should reach out and call this realtor Jason Payne. So he did, kind of gave me what he was looking for. And I saw that this house really fit a lot of his needs. This is a five bedroom, four bath house, two story, two car garage, but it's completed. And Perry's desperate to get this house moved. This is also $550,000. But because we're now in the month of October, remember what I mentioned in my previous videos, October, November, Builders are desperate to move these homes, so I'm definitely gonna ask for a little more off. Now, as I'm filming it, it is October 3rd. I'm not gonna make this public until either my uh, client re uh, decides to either pass in this house or gets it under contract, then I'll go ahead and make this live. Anyways, it's a beautiful home. Can't wait to show it off to you. Let's start the tour right out front. All right, the location of this house is really, really nice. We're kind of on a half cul-de-sac, but the green space you see behind me is a ranch that's not for sale. So that's gonna be green space behind him for pretty much forever. But uh, we're kind of the back part of Meyer Ranch, so you're not gonna see a lot of traffic out here. There's your kind of little mini cul-de-sac. Uh, my guy who's interested in it is also 100% disabled. Um, this community does have a mud tax, but that mud tax is waived in this community if you are 100% disabled. So you get, uh, Income tax, your, your property tax are gonna be free because you're 100% and so is the mud tax. This is a beautiful home. The sun does kind of set right off in this direction, but we'll talk more about that later. But uh, as you tell, we got landscaping coming in. I do love the white and black combination of it. There you got some of the landscaping done. But yeah, let's head on inside because it looks like some of the Construction workers are uh, got their music going. As always at this time in the video, I ask you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but also I'm gonna ask, hey, hit those notifications so you do get notified whenever I do uh, make a new video public. All right, beautiful little entryway. You got your little catwalk up top there, really tall ceilings. I've realized I have not turned those lights on up there. We'll see how that works. But right up front, you have one of the bedrooms, but this also could be used as an office if you don't need four bedrooms. Got your window. What make, what separates something from an office and a bedroom is a closet. So there is a closet here, so this can be considered as a bedroom. You would have your own private entrance to this uh, full bath or standby. The public would have access to this full bath coming through this door. Just make sure you lock that door because you don't want any surprises if you're hosting a party. All right, coming into the main living space, uh, they do have this house staged. So that tells me Perry really wants to get this house moved. Tall vaulted ceilings up top in the main area. Plenty of space to have set up whatever furniture you want to do. Have your big screen TV set up right there. Uh, full-size dining room stuff with uh, lots and lots of windows all around it. Your main island. It does not come with a refrigerator. You have to provide your own refrigerator, but GE appliances and the profile is one step up from uh, uh, GE's standard stuff. You've got your corner pantry. Plenty of decent size, depending on how many kiddos you got. This is a gas community, so you got the GE five top cooktop burner. Nice little backsplash there. And we do have a single basin sink. No 50-50 no sinks here. And you got the cabinets are all kind of, we're continuing the black and white theme with this cabinets, but those cabinets are much lighter because it would look really silly if all that was black. Definitely like the pendant lighting. I did not turn that one light on, but plenty of light in here. Um, I mentioned where the sun's setting. It's kind of off in this corner here. So yeah, you might want to have blinds put on these windows a certain time of year. But uh, before we head upstairs, let's go ahead and head outside. Master bedroom's gonna be right here, but we'll look at that toward the end because I want you to keep watching my video and not clicking off of this just yet. But really good size outdoor patio. 
blocked for your ceiling fan right there so you can do that but i really do like this lot because it's a good size yard and this is your primary view remember i mentioned for the third time the sun's back over this way so it's not directly on you but if you just have one of those solar screens coming down that makes this place a really enjoyable yard but yeah, all of this you see is a ranch. So you're gonna actually have a lot of privacy. You've got um, a uh, privacy fence there. So the neighbors on that side really won't be able to see you unless they put a two story house and then they might be able to. But um, this road goes up that way, but you can see the other road kind of curves around. So you might be looking up the backside of some houses up that direction a little bit, but nothing right here on this ranch section. So that's really nice to have this privacy and it's a really good looking home. Uh, I see there it's plumb for a gas on the outside here. So if you want to build your outdoor kitchen, you definitely can. And nice little power outlets there. All right, let's go check out the rest of the house. Starting with the garage space. This is a two car garage, but they did extend it a little bit on the side. You can see your standard garage door for two car garage, but they extended it a little bit. Looks like about two feet. Just give you extra workspace. Tankless water heater and plumb for water softener. I always recommend a water softener um, because our water is really solid. Your mud room, your place to hang your backpacks area right there. And you got your laundry room also some nice little shelves for you that's just a closet all right let's head on upstairs we got three bedrooms up there one of them has a bathroom attached to right off the bedroom all right i do like the little wrought iron here they really did a good job on this house all right this is the bedroom that has uh, the bathroom attached to it so it's gonna have a good sized closet. Now you're gonna have eight foot doors downstairs, but your standard doors upstairs. What a decent bathroom. And then you got this really cool, neat little uh, open space, loft area. So yeah, if you've got kids that want to have their own space to play video games or something on, they definitely can do that. You can swap out that middle light and put a ceiling fan in there. But yeah, you can just do all sorts of activities in this space here. Okay, let's go look at the rest of the bedrooms. Here's that catwalk we saw when we came in. A little view from the above. And I do like the fact they even have more lights all the way up top there, or windows, adding more light. And there's view from above up there. All right, coming into this bedroom, kind of just a standard size bedroom with a standard size closet. But you do have a nice little view of the neighborhood and uh, what the yard looks like now before the lens, the sod goes in. All right, swinging it on around, we do have a full bathroom that's gonna be shared by these two bedrooms that we're showing you on this wing. I believe this is just gonna be a closet. Yep, storage closet. A little linen closet there, but yeah, this is bedroom. It is gonna be kind of the same as one we just saw. Yep, same closet. So, but having this uh, game room space up here is really nice as well. So there's plenty of space up here. All right, on our way down, to go look at that master bedroom. I hope you're still with us. And if I haven't mentioned this yet, there is uh, 2,600 square feet in this house, or actually five, nine, uh, 2599, like yeah, rounding up 2,600 square feet. So good size house. All right, coming into the master bedroom, we do have our tray ceiling. They already got the fan in there. Plenty of natural light. 
and the French doors leading into the master bath where you're going to have both a shower and a tub, but let's check out the shower first. You got your mud inset shower with nice tile work in there. And there's the shower. You got your full tub with the window kind of blocked out a little bit. Water closet, plenty of space. And then of course we have his and her vanities. One's gonna be bigger than the other. And then coming into the closet. So you got your shoe rack slash boot rack. Plenty of hang up space. Your smart hub for all your ethernet ports and modems. And then your closet here. I wouldn't say this is the largest closet for a house this size, but it all depends on the individual. But I'm glad to see they got two different racks in here just for being able to hang up more stuff. But I mentioned before they were standard doors upstairs, but yeah, eight foot doors throughout downstairs. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this Perry home that's on the market right now as of early October 2024. They did drop the price down to now $550, but because it's a completed home, and Perry does not like to sit on completed homes, and we're getting close to the end of the year, I definitely think we can get more off, especially if you're using me as a realtor. And if you want to use me as your real estate agent, the best way to do that is shoot me a text. My contact information can be on the final slide, but before we get to that, I'm also going to have some more information about this particular home and this community, so don't click off just yet. But I do want you to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, as always, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone wanting to move to the Texas Hill Country. The builder pays my fees, so please don't go through this process alone. All right, take care. Oh, and they don't discount the price, house of the price if you don't use a realtor. So go ahead and give me a call. It's okay. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.